Hello everyone and welcome to the first ever Virtual Chamber Concert. I'm Trisha Gongalor and on behalf of the organizers Amelie Sen and myself, I want to thank you all for joining us in appreciating music during these uncertain times. The music industry is certainly one that has been hit hard during this pandemic with the cancellation of innumerable performances and the inability to rehearse live in ensembles. But thanks to the, to the technology of today, we've been able to implement innovative ways to overcome some of these barriers in order to play and share the music that we all love. Today, we'll be showcasing the performances of a few students who took the increased amount of time spent at home as an opportunity to produce even more music. We hope the love and joy that music brings us will unite us in, in a time when connection, harmony, and acceptance are more important than ever. But we know that what you're really here for is some great music. Of course, it wouldn't be the chamber concert without a few troublesome music puns and some clever wordplay. So please enjoy these quarantunes tunes while resting at home, and we hope they'll bring Bach memories of the good old days of live performance. Thank you. Hi, my name is Noor, and I'm a junior at Mountain View High School. I'm playing the Santur, which is a Persian musical instrument. I'm playing three songs. The first one is Shukufiv by Vegan, which means blossoms. The second one is Shani by Vegan and Puran, which means comb. The third one is Dharamiyam Vitefran by Andi, which means I'm going to Tefran. The first two are more traditional songs, and then the third one is more like pop music. I hope you all enjoy.
Well, it's not every day that we get to hear a talented player like Nure play the Santur. That was a beautiful performance with lilting melodic lines and a lovely introduction to the beautiful art form different from Western classical music. In other, breaking news, an orchestra member, I repeat, an orchestra member has decided to play a band instrument. Ah, this just in. The member has chosen to perform Bersu's Opus 16. Let's see how the story unfolds. Give it up for Annabelle Lowe. Hi, I'm Annabelle, and I'm going to be playing an arrangement of Bersu's The Foray. I hope you enjoy. Well, we aren't um, used to seeing Annabelle play the flute uh, as she's a cellist in the chamber orchestra, but this performance just shows the breadth in her musical talent. Um, I just loved how the performance was so lyrical and delicate, and she just blended with the piano. She, uh, she showed us that she can definitely play those beautiful, rich, low notes on the cello, um, but really so on the high ones on the flute. Continuing to explore the world of band instruments, we have a violinist who will be playing the clarinet, um, give it up for Gaya Cha, uh, who shall be playing The Good Life by Ryan Nolan. Hello, my name is Gaya. I'm a random street orchestra kid, and I'm playing The Good Life by Ryan Nolan. I'm playing that in Korean.
Once again, like Annabelle, Gaia displayed some of her hidden talents. From violin to clarinet, it's so nice to see students displaying the musical skills they don't normally showcase at school, as is the goal of the chamber concert. Gaia's performance set the mood to light and playful, something we all need more of during these times. Thank you, Gaia. Shifting back to the world of orchestra, up next we have a family duet. We are continuing to make chamber concert history here, so please join me in welcoming Eric Wetzel on the cello and his mother Karen playing the viola. They'll be giving you a brief introduction to the piece that they are playing before jumping right on into the music. Please enjoy. Okay, hello, I'm Eric and this is my mom. We're going to be playing Duet mit zwei Obligaten Augenbläsern by Beethoven for viola and cello, also known in English as Duet with two obligato eyeglasses. We hope you enjoy. Thank you. 
It's so awesome to see not only Eric, but his mom performing such a wonderful piece. This was a beautifully intricate duet that showcased some amazing musical skills on both their parts. I will say, the viola has never sounded so good, and shows what a lot of practice results in. Thank you so much, Eric and Karen, for sharing this wonderful performance, which definitely took us all on a musical journey. Now, no virtual chamber concert would be official without one of his performances. So please, welcome yet another reappearance by the infamous MVHS alumni, Rohan Katpali. And oh, Liam too. I guess being a prestigious UOP scholar is pretty alright. As diverse as their combined talents are, so is the piece that they're about to play. Nana and Asturiana by one of the greatest Spanish composers, Manuel de Falla, showcase a contrast between a Spanish lullaby and flamenco bringing light to the different regions of Spain. They hope you enjoy this performance. Hi, my name is Liam Shaughnessy, and I'm going to be playing uh, Manuel de Falla's Siete Canciones Populares Españolas. And it's a set of seven songs that are traditional Spanish songs. And today I'll be playing uh, two of them, Nana, which is the second one, and Asturiana, which is the fifth one. Um, and they're traditionally sung by a mezzo-soprano. 
but I'll be playing them today on violin with Rohan Katpale on piano. I hope you enjoy. Thank you, uh, Liam and Rohan, for sharing that beautiful piece and for performing one more time for Grammy Jess. I loved hearing the different tones and styles in the pieces. Um, I loved hearing the somber and grit in Nana and the clarity in Austriana. So tonight we've heard Persian music, flute, clarinet, violin, cello, piano, viola, Spanish music, and even the classic Beethoven. Looks like we've covered all the bases, right? Well, we actually have one more. Um, it's the Adagio from the Violin Sonata, uh, number one in G minor by J.S. Bach, and will be performed by a violinist who's playing, you'll think, my gosh, I'll have to be that Bach for more. Um, give it up for Noah! Hello, I'm Noah Gosh, and this is the Adagio from Bach's Violin Sonata, number one in G minor.
Wow, that was a fantastic interpretation of that piece. You could tell that Noah put a lot of thought into each note, delivering a soulful and moving performance. We couldn't ask for a more fitting finale for the closing of our show. But before we leave you, we would like to give a big thank you to everyone who is involved, including our clever scriptwriters Lydia Lamb and Kavi Golamudi, our fantastic video editor Alyssa Fong Hirschfelder, our super supportive directors Jason Kneebone and Anna Lindy, our amazing performers, and of course, last but not least, all of you who supported them just by watching this video. It takes a lot of courage to film and record yourself at home, so let's take a moment to appreciate all the hard work the performers put into their performances. Additionally, we ask that you please check out the links in the, in the description to support local efforts to aid those affected by COVID-19. Every helping hand makes a difference. We hope you enjoyed the performances today as much as we did, and that music will continue to be a uniting and uplifting force in our community during these trying times. So thank you again, and we hope that you stay safe and healthy.